BC Children's Hospital. And coming up, we're going to talk to a very special family that came down to help decorate today. But right now, we're talking tea. Or more accurately, we're talking to the man who wants to lead the tea revolution in BC. One tea latte at a time, Brendan Way is leading a beverage revolution. By helping to make tea the new drink of choice, we would have a much healthier population, without a doubt. As a tea consultant, he helps businesses promote and sell the coffee alternative. There's only about uh, three operating in North America that are actually even making a living out of it, so I consider myself lucky that I'm one of them. <laughs> We're going to have the counter space around here. Okay. Right? He provides advice and direction to people hoping to start their own business. These are all multi-steep teas. And also teaches Western Canada's only tea sommelier course at Vancouver Community College. Smell that? How, how uh, spinachy and artichokey? Yeah. Yeah. I was a hardcore coffee drinker, and uh, I drank about 12 cups of coffee a day when I was in the oil patch, and uh, weaned myself off and switched to tea, and uh, energy levels got better, my skin got better. In a past life, he battled frigid temperatures, x-ray and pipelines on the oil patch. The last year in the oil patch, I made more than I've ever made in the tea business. So why would I walk out of there and get into tea? A lifestyle, really. The self-professed tree hugger was inspired after visiting a traditional tea house in Prague. It wasn't your standard brown Betty service with your English teacup. It was nothing like that. And I think it was the bohemian sort of... Um, den-like, loungy feel of it that really rocked my clock and I was pretty excited about it. He opened his first tea house in 99. My average daily sales were probably 50 bucks, 60 bucks a day. I was cooked. I was pretty cooked. And then I had a, an article written about my great tea service and a piece of chocolate cake by the food editor of the Edmonton Journal. And it was, that was the t turning point. It was all of a sudden people go, wow, this guy's dedicated to tea and he's doing a good job. So in they came. Today, he's sampling new flavors for the 30 or so coffee shops he supplies in D.C. Local growers like Sanam depend on people like Brendan to market their products. What's the spice content in that one? He has uh, the ability to learn constantly, and that's what makes him special, because a lot of the people in the industry think they know a lot, so they kind of shut down. And with Brandon, he's, constantly, he's like a sponge, he's constantly learning stuff. Tea is one of these things that you'll never learn at all in a lifetime. It's, it, there's no end point, because the industry changes, and the knowledge changes, and the growing techniques change. But his passion remains the same. In Burnaby, I'm Peter Kim for The Express. Mm, it's really nice. Apparently, tea is the second most consumed beverage in the entire world. And you can learn more about Brendan and his unique services online at theteaguide.com. Now, we're going from tea to...